I'm not happy at all. Yes, I'm not really happy at all. Charlie, there's fire on the mountain. And very soon, Charlie, there's going to be very big trouble. In a few years' time or in a few months' time in this country called Ghana. Yes, I don't know if you've been listening to the news or you are active on social media. Especially if you're active on social media, you know where things are going on. Yes, the men is called Kalamse. Now, if I continue, please, I can't fight this alone. And so, you can also help. And how can you help? By, by liking this video. Because I want this video to go viral. Please like this video. Comment as well as you are watching. Share. And then, yes, very important as well. Subscribe. Because the aim is to get to 100,000 subscribers. So we can fight this fight together. The men is called Galamse. As I said earlier, very soon and very soon, most Ghanaians are going to die. And this is not a prophecy. Are you aware that currently, we don't have a, we don't have a middle class. It's either you are poor. Or you are rich. Yes. That's the state we've got in it. And Galamse is destroying our water bodies. Rivers, a lot and lot of rivers have been destroyed. I mean like 95% of all the rivers that we have in this country have been destroyed because of Galamse. And shockingly, the sea, which is very big, I saw a sea somewhere. A whole sea has turned to deep brown. And I'll show you in the video, I mean, as we go on. This shows the, the level of devastation or the level of destruction. I mean, they've done to our water bodies because the whole sea has turned brown. And it seems that Ghana has no leader. It seems the country is on autopilot. Because how can you tell me that a country which is governed or led by a president who is the commander-in-chief of the Ghana Armed Forces cannot stop Galamse? No, there's something wrong. It's that he's involved. And I, I don't know if you remember. Professor Frimpon Boatin was the first African on the continent to do an, an open heart surgery. He was once the Minister of Environment and Science and Technology sent a report to the presidency telling him about the people involved in Glamsi. But Charlie, that report was left to rot and then he was even accused of being involved in Glamsi. In fact, or some, time, some interview which he had, he was like, the Glamsi, I mean the headquarters is the Jubilee House, the presidency are also involved because you can't tell me that the president who has access to the military, police, the national security and all the security agencies cannot stop Glamsey. No, something is wrong somewhere. And in case, I mean, you are wondering why am I saying that, why am I saying that, am I, am I saying that, I mean, people are going to die. Now, these illegal miners, those Glamseys, they use mercury, a very dangerous chemical when it enters into your body. Or even touches you. They use lead. They use cyanide. These are very dangerous chemicals which can kill you when you consume it a lot. And people are now going to get kidney diseases in a few years' time. Cancers. I don't know if you are aware, but for some time now, the Pediatric Society of Ghana and the Confan are not teaching hospital revealed actually. Children are being born with defects. Yes. I mean, a child could be born with just three fingers two fingers yes i mean a child could be born with without one of i mean their ears you know normally we have two ears but they could be born and they have just an ear and like no one cares the country is on autopilot now nah, but it is too serious and the ghana water company issued a statement some few weeks ago that now some part in the central region because of galamse they cannot supply them water Again, because the water has been so much destroyed, and even the chemical they use, you know, back in the day, we all, all we knew was that I mean, they use alum as well, I mean, to make the water, I mean, the surface of the, surface of the water clear so, so that I mean, we can drink. I mean, apart, apart from the chlorine they use, they use alum to make I mean, to clear the surface of the water, but they are saying that the alum that they use or they used to use back in the day is no more working now, they have to use a different chemical which is four times stronger than the alum. Yes, now imagine this chemical. You know, currently there's been, I mean, an issue of kidney failure issues. And even that, government, you know, I mean, the government hospitals don't have enough dialysis machines to, I mean, help people. Which means that should you get a kidney disease, bro, even, even managing itself is expensive. You have to do dialysis. Do you know dialysis? In case you don't know, let me explain a bit for you. Dialysis has to do with, I mean, they taking out your blood and there's a machine 
which your blood goes goes through to move the waste substances basically that the dialysis machine does the work of your kidney normally your kidney is the one that is supposed to um, or your kidneys are the ones that are supposed to i mean take out the waste substances from your body your kidney does so many other things as well now let me say this in case you don't know yes your kidney even though it removes waste substances your kidney also controls your blood pressure okay it produces an hormone which helps to I mean, a hormone which helps to i mean regulate your blood pressure and even if you have the money to do a kidney transplant okay which it's difficult to get a donor your body might reject the kidney has been purchased or bought with thousands of dollars or euros or pounds which means that you would have to go back to a dialysis and the person who donated their kidney cannot take it back <laughs> Once they donate their kidneys, I mean, it's impossible to put it back in them, which means that, I mean, they wasted one of their kidneys. Normally, every human being has two kidneys, which, I mean, removes with substances. I mean, it helps to control blood pressure. It does other things, which I'll talk about later. I think I'll start a channel on health as well very soon. This week, I hope so. And <laughs> the sad thing is, very soon again, we, are, we would have to, start importing food we have to start importing water because of the glam sea which i mean has i mean all the water bodies have been destroyed and currently i'm i'm even afraid to eat our vegetables because i saw a video where Bel belamundi was talking to i mean one indigen in the area around, around the river pra and and then he was like charlie now to go to the farm you have to buy sachet water which we call pure water to water your crops i mean how much can you buy to water your crops in case you have like five acres or ten acres, how much can you buy? And these farmers, of course, I mean, they are not rich. So, which means that they are going to use those water, those waters which have been polluted by cyanide, mercury, lead. And you and I, oh God, the average Ghanaian, the poor Ghanaian, is the one who is going to buy it. And through no fault of ours, we are going to get kidney diseases. You are going to get cancers because one idiot or some idiots decided that so i mean let us do galam c to get our money and then destroy the water bodies and oh if you're thinking that oh you're in a cry and that oh i mean the galam c water is not coming to you forget it because those foods come to Accra as well oh my god i mean if i'll talk i mean i won't end here because it's a lot i have to say but then let me say this don't forget to like comment share and then subscribe as well because i cannot do this alone please don't forget to like comment share and then subscribe as well. i mean i want this video to go viral let's get to 100,000 subscribers as well by december all right now let me end here charlie <sighs> people are going to fall sick <laughs> i mean where did we go wrong because we were told by this same president that i mean i'll put my presidency on the line to fight galamsey little did we know that i mean the president put the lives of Ghanaians on the line. Because you cannot tell me that a whole president or a whole government cannot stop Kalamsi. Bro, no. And you see videos of these guys on social media where they, um, they even let people, I mean, film them where they are talking boldly. <laughs> Which means that, I mean, they have big people supporting them doing this Kalamsi, destroying our water bodies. Now, there's something wrong. Which means that very soon and very soon, and I've heard that these big people, they import water into this country to drink because they're into Galamsey and they know the amount of chemicals these people use in our water bodies. Oh gosh. Yes, again, let me end here. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and then subscribe as well. I want this video to go viral. So please comment, share, like, and then subscribe because my aim is to get to 100,000 subscribers. And the more people I have as subscribers, the more I mean, more people see this video as well. Yes. So let's get to 100,000 subscribers. <sighs> if I think about Ghana, I mean, then I, I start to get a headache.